Hi, this is just a short recording to help you decide whether a Wikipedia page is uh, good enough quality for you to use as a source of information on one of your research assignments. I am looking at uh, just a page that I um, searched for pirates and it has um, brought me here. It's redirected me to the piracy page of Wikipedia. And I want to just um, give you a few pointers about things to look for as you are skimming through an article trying to decide whether it's going to be useful for you or not. So first of all, I would be skimming down to the table of contents to an article and just having a look to see how detailed that table of contents is. I can see that this article is actually quite detailed and that is already an indication to me that there's been a lot of work gone into this. Um, article and that possibly it is going to be something that's definitely worth looking at. I'm going to keep skimming through because I'm actually now looking for little messages that um, Wikipedia does leave up on its page. They're very transparent in um, letting you know whether there are problems with a page or not. Oh, there they are right there. Um, they are uh, very keen to let people know that there is a standard that they keep and when those standards aren't met exactly what's going on um, with an article. So there are two alert messages here in this subsection called anti-piracy measures. The first one is really just talking about the tone of the article. They're saying that it doesn't really meet their um, formal standards for what an encyclopedia should sound like. Um, the second alert message is probably more the point for um, what you're interested in, and that is knowing that there's no bias within an article. And this is saying that in this section, there is in fact a bias. There is some neutrality issues here that there have been some disputes about the information that has gone into here and you can actually see the discussion and the dispute discussion um, in fact on the talk pages which I can show you later. So until those conditions are met that's just an alert that's going to stay up on that section to let you know that you need to um, be a critical reader and thinker as you go through this section of the article. I want to scroll now right down to the bottom because the other thing that I look for in an article is whether it has been, um, there we go, really well referenced or not. So this is the, the references that have gone into this article. So um, when you look up here, you can see every time there's a statement made, um, that fact needs to be backed up by some information. And that's what these little numbers are. And they relate to of course, these references down here. So just like you have to create references, so does Wikipedia um, demand that references are made on articles in order to be published. And this one I can see has got an awful lot of references. It was a very long article. I would expect to see this, but there are over 200 and I can look through them and actually see where these articles have come from. So Reuters, which is a journalism um, site, I can see that that article's come from there. Bloomberg News, that's another journal that's quite uh, reputable, the Washington Post. So there are a lot of um, reputable sources of information there. I can see that straight away. They have a bibliography as well as references, and those are um, larger publications that have been used in creating the article. There's a further reading list and external links. All of these say to me that a lot of research has gone into this article. It's fairly mature, it's fairly well developed. But there is one surefire way that I can tell what the quality of this article is, and that's by scrolling back up to the top, to the talk page, clicking on that. This is where you'll find if you wanted to dig a little deeper, there would be some dispute discussions happening. What I'm looking for though is just this bit right here, okay? And it says this article has been rated as B class. This is Wikipedia's um, uh, quality, I guess, standards. And if I click on that, it brings me to like a little back page. And if I scroll down, I can find their Wiki project article quality grading scheme. And this is a rubric, just a little bit, um, I guess, a similar to what happens when you hand in an article um, and it goes through an assessment process. So do the articles on Wikipedia. That piracy article was a B-class article. So here's what a B-class article is all about. It says that the article is mostly complete. It doesn't have any major problems, but may require some further work in order for it to move up the scale. 
this just lets you know what your experience would be like reading those kinds of articles. It does say that readers are not left wanting, although the content may not be complete enough to satisfy a serious student or researcher. What they're talking about there is somebody who is in an academic field, say at university, and they're doing research uh, in, and hoping to publish their articles. So it may not be good enough for them, but it's certainly good enough for somebody who's in high school and is doing a research project for their teacher in class, okay? C-class uh, is a different story. It does say that it's okay for casual readers. So if you wanted to read up about, I don't know, a movie star or something, that could be all right. But it's not giving you a complete picture and it's um, not good enough even for a moderately detailed study, okay? So please don't use anything in Wikipedia if it falls below a B-class. You can certainly use anything that falls above a B-class. I think um, the only other thing I really want to say is um, that some people believe that when uh, someone goes on to Wikipedia, they can just get in and hack things up and destroy articles, and that's why maybe it's not such a reliable source of information. Maybe that was true when Wikipedia was first starting up about 20-some years ago. Now that's no longer the case. Uh, and you can see that very simply. This normally says edit here, but this page actually has a view source instead. And when I scroll over it, it says this page is protected. Um, and if I clicked through, it would actually tell me a little bit more about why it's protected. Um, and, the, and I'm guessing that would have something to do with the um, disputes that are happening and the bias down in that more um, recent information about modern day piracy. And so these are really easy ways for you to evaluate a web page that's on Wikipedia. I hope that's going to be of some help for you. Um, good luck with your assignment and thank you for listening.